Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals to Dappist ASMR. Today I'm going to show you a new, new project. It's new to you. I've actually already filmed this completely once and realized I left my fan on and you couldn't even hear me half the time. So um, the first two pages are filled out and we're just going to continue on from there. The plan is to do like two pages or two prompts once a month until the whole book is filled. The book is called The Positivity Kit by Lisa Curry. Yeah. And it's just like a film blank journal. And so, yeah, I thought this would be a lot of fun. And just maybe bring a little positivity into all of our lives. So I'm going to change my camera angle and we'll get started. So this is the book so far. first page says, hello, this positivity kit belongs to Dappist ASMR. You need to let the little things that would ordinarily bore you suddenly thrill you. Please note, this is not a book to just look at. It's a creative space for you to draw, write, doodle, over, doodle over and cut and paste. Sooner it'll be a catalog of everything that makes you feel good and excited. Soon it'll be a handmade map that may, can guide you back to your happiest self, back to your sweet spot in life whenever you need it. Let's begin. Write yourself a message in the sky, something that would make you smile if you saw it. So I wrote, you are awesome, because I think that applies to both you and me. I also drew uh, smiley faces, and I'll probably post these being made, but not as ASMR. So if you want to see that, I most likely will post that. The next page was nice little moments bottled up. The blissful silence when you are, are home alone. The way my body feels after a nap. The sweet anticipation of going to a convention, getting home to find chocolate. Now, there's two prompts. Colors that make me happy. So, how many do I have to do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven if you include the center. One, two, Three, four, five, these. I don't know what this is, but these colors make me happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, six, nine, ten. Okay. Four. So after much diving, not really, um, I chose these. These are definitely the palette I love the most. So this is probably my least favorite of the group, so I'm actually going to call it the center of that. I do like gray, but it has to be with other things. this one. They don't have any like markings on the color there, so I can't like, tell you. But that's such a lovely color. markers are weird. Like, they'll work for a little bit, and they dry out, and then you can come back, and they work again for a little bit. The 
the next color I'm going to do is this one because I really like this color too. I'm not doing them in any particular order. I'm sure there's anything not trying to make them look cohesive, but I think they naturally just go together. But I'll do them out for you. Next one I'm going to do is like this other gray one. Oh, that was such a pretty color that I had anticipated. Marker is facing the wrong way. Um, next I'm going to do this one. So you might have noticed there's been quite a few little jumps during this page. Recently a neighbor of mine has been playing with hammer every night. So we'll work around him best we can. All those look nearly identical, and their caps look nothing alike. That's interesting. Ooh, that's a pretty, very pretty color. May have been a bit more green than I had anticipated. I mean, I like green, but I prefer blue. But green mixed with blue is like the superior color in different opacities and levels. I feel like that's a much better shade. dream come true. Hmm. That would be an actual dream come true. Okay. So I think what an actual dream come true would be not necessarily be a like item. But like an actual dream to come would be like out of debt. Like no student loans. <laughs> kind of realistic. Let's see. Fill this page with all the good things that you've done in your life so far. Big things and little things. Think of as many as you can. That's a long time for today. Real life imitators. That's my favorite condiment. I'll do this one. This is cute. So a smell that reminds me of someone. So a smell, the smell would be called zucchini bread. It's like a smell of fresh bread with zucchini in it.
I want it to be mixed with... I don't remember what this shade looks like already. Okay, yeah, it's pretty... Pretty dark. This will be the last page that I do, just because my neighbor is driving me up the wall. And the amount of editing is already an intense extreme. And I don't edit very well to begin with. I'm getting better though, I hope. Smell that I love. And so the smell of zucchini bread. Reminds me of my grandmother that passed away. But it's a smell that I know. Like, that slight smell of cinnamon, but it's not overdone. Zucchini, which has its own very unique smell. All of it combined with the smell of fresh bread. That's the smell. Oh. Well, that's not an orange, but I guess that's my flame color now. Let's blend it in with a really light orange. Drag out these. We'll just start coloring. We said. the sad thing was he didn't have the hammer out the first time I filmed this at all but then I leave the fan on or maybe he did leave the maybe he was playing with the hammer and I just didn't notice with what I've got. And I keep pushing forward and you and I will both make it one day. <laughs> there it is. Candle. That reminds me of my grandmother. Along with an actual dream come true would be me. And all the colors that make me happy. That'll be it for this episode. Um, I hope that you'll tune in next month for the next few pages. I won't go in any particular kind of order. I'll just do whatever comes to mind. Yeah. I hope to see you again real soon. And I hope you know how awesome you are. I'll see you soon. I love you. Comment, like, subscribe. Hit the bell. Please, please, pretty please. I'll leave you on top.